Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I want to show you how I built the Stream Deck to control Microsoft Teams while in meetings using the free touch deck open source project that I found online the other day. So in order to explain how this works, I will use my camera instead of using this screen recording. And this way I will be able to show you how the Stream Deck over here can control the computer over there. So Without further ado, let's see how I can control Microsoft Teams with this little device over here. The first thing that I have to do is go to Microsoft Teams and create a new meeting with myself as I programmed it just to have meeting controls. And I will join the meeting and in the device, I will push the Microsoft Teams button. In here, I will have access to five different functions that allow me to mute and mute, turn on and turn off the camera, share content from my computer or hide the share bar, raise my hand. And if you raise your hand, as you can see, you will be able to see it there. And if I click here again, it goes away. And now if I want to leave the call, I just need to press the red button. The downside here is that if I go away from the Microsoft Teams and open something like a browser, I wouldn't be able to send the command to turn off the call as this device is sending shortcuts to the open window that you have in your computer. So I had to find a solution to work around this limitation so I'm able to control Microsoft Teams even when I don't have the application as the main focus window. So let's see how it's done. The first thing that I will do now is disconnect this call and I'll open the free Teams DAC application. This is a console application that I built with the purpose of reading messages that are sent from the little device to the computer. You will have to provide the port number where your application is running. You will be able to find the instructions on how to get this number in the setup guide that you can find in the description. And you will have to provide the bound rate that for this device is 9,600 as it was configured this way in the source code. If the connection is established successfully, you will see a green connected word. And from now on, while this application is open, you will be able to control Microsoft Teams even when the application is not in focus. So let's see again how this works now that it's connected to the free Teams DAC console application. I will go back here to the home screen of the DAC and I will set up another call. Now that the application is running, even if I move away from Microsoft Teams and open the browser again, I will be able to control the window because the console application, it's running in the background. So I will push the button to turn off the camera. And as you can see, the Teams app will open as the focused window and the camera will be turned off. Same thing works for the mute and, and the mute. So let me bring this here. And it brings the Teams application again as your main focus window. So you will be able to send the comments anyway, even if you went away to another screen. This is extremely convenient for scenarios where you are using a single screen to have your meetings as it allows you to control Microsoft Teams without the need to go to the tray and look for the icon and open the application. With the push of a button, Microsoft Teams will open and you will be able to execute the commands defined in your deck. So let me know what you think about this solution and let me know if you think this is worth the time. It's kind of ugly right now, but let me tell you that it will look awesome once I put all together inside of the 3D printed case that I have already waiting for it. Bye-bye.